Hey everyone, and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. I'm Sarah, and for today's video, I will be drawing my favorite Thanksgiving treat, pumpkin pie, along with the animal that I think represents it best, a red panda. When deciding on what to do for this week's video, I was a little discouraged and was having a lot of trouble coming up with an idea. So when that happens, I literally think to myself, what do I feel like drawing today? And this week, I decide to draw something cute and fluffy and delicious. Whenever I have trouble thinking of a video idea, I always just take a step back and remind myself why I make these videos and it's to draw stuff that I like which is usually animals and just enjoy the process while learning along the way. So with Thanksgiving yesterday and having my favorite treat pumpkin pie with a mountain of whipped cream on it, I thought it would be so fun to draw the fluffiness of the whipped cream on the pumpkin pie with some kind of cute animal playing in it. While thinking of what animals would be best with the pumpkin pie, I remembered that I recently saw some of these videos of red pandas playing in snow and I thought it was the cutest thing ever and I just loved it so much. And the snow was just like white whipped cream in a way and the red panda being all orange and red and the white markings being so fluffy and adorable, I thought it would be the perfect companion to my pumpkin pie. So as usual, I start off by sketching the subjects just to warm up and then I create a thumbnail to plan out my vision for the final drawing. Usually I'll just draw everything that I want to be included in the final illustration and then just draw a box around where I think the cropping would look best for the composition of the piece. So for this drawing in particular, I wanted to take it easy and sit down and do a mixed media piece. One of my first videos on YouTube was taking a flamingo and a bat and creating an animal hybrid of a batingo based on the similarities that those two animals share. And that's another video that I do the same mixed media process. So if you want to see more videos of me going through this process, definitely check that video out. I'll have it linked in the description as well as a side note thingy for you to click in the corner for your convenience. So after doing the thumbnail sketch, I start off with cutting a piece of watercolor paper and just eyeballing it to the ratio of the thumbnail that I sketched first. Then I tape it down to my surface to help prevent any warping as I add water to the drawing. I sketch out the composition on the paper with a watercolor pencil and then I blend and soften it out with my water brush pen. I feel like this gives it a nice and cohesive tone underneath it and I feel like it really helps unify the two subjects together. I go back in a couple times with watercolor pencil and water brush pen until I get that nice orangey tone underneath it all. Then I started adding watercolor into the drawings to have the base colors that are closer to the actual colors of red pandas and pumpkin pie. I'm really not a huge fan of these watercolors specifically because they don't really blend as easily as I wish they would and they just aren't super high quality. But I also feel like it might just be that I'm too impatient to really work super hard at trying to make these watercolors work for me. The paper I'm using is a cold pressed watercolor paper but it's not 100% cotton, which I hear that 100% cotton watercolor paper is pretty key for any watercolor drawings. I don't really like using the material as an excuse too much because it's really incredible what people can make with the cheapest and most simple supplies, so it's really not an excuse. I think maybe I'll treat myself to a nicer watercolor set and paper after the holiday because I've honestly just always wanted to try out better paints and paper anyway. Maybe I'll invest in some nicer brushes too. Anyway, I use the watercolors to basically plot out where the general colors are going to go as a base because then I go in with colored pencil and add texture to the fur and add more depth to the drawing. So while you watch me add in the colored pencil detail, final ink line art, and the pops of white gel pen finishing touches, I thought I'd talk a little bit about about this past holiday. So I'm an American and yesterday I celebrated Thanksgiving with my immediate family who I've been quarantined with all year. Everyone's holidays will look different this year and I really hope you're all still finding joy in this season. 2020 was a rough year for everyone but that doesn't mean there's nothing to be thankful for this year. I'm so grateful to have such a supportive family who can still work from home and I'm also so grateful I get to still work as well. I know that it's such a privilege and unfortunately I know that that's just simply not true for so so many people around the world. So I definitely have been counting my blessings this year. I'm also so thankful for you guys who watch my videos and I can't do this video without screaming about hitting 100 subscribers. This is a huge milestone and I can't thank you all enough for all the support and kind comments you all leave on my videos. I love chatting with you and it means so much when people tell me they love my content. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that this channel is all about me sharing my passion of animals through art. My goal is to get people inspired and excited 
about animals and how cool and unique they are. And when you say you feel my enthusiasm and excitement about the animals I talk about and that you like what I do, it really means a lot and it shows me that I'm on the right path. After working on this drawing for the better half of the evening, I decided to call it done for now. As I'm looking at it the next morning, there are always and will always be things I could go in and fix and build onto, but as it is, I'm pretty satisfied with this drawing and I really enjoyed the process of making it. And everything that I want to improve in this one, I'll definitely be thinking about and work to make my next mixed media drawing even better. I really hope you guys enjoy just hanging out and drawing with me. I really love this mixed media art process and I think it's just so intuitive and I love that if I'm not thrilled with how it looks at any stage, I can always fix it up with the colored pencil or the ink or the white gel pen. So there really isn't much pressure and I think that's my favorite part about working with mixed medium. So whenever I draw animals, I usually share interesting facts about the animals in the video. But for this video, I kind of want it to be a little more sentimental to the holiday. And I feel like all you really need to know about red pandas is that they are so stinking cute. And I'll link the videos of them playing in the snow in the description, as well as an article I found that does share all kinds of information about red pandas. So I highly encourage you to take a look. I also have links to all of my social media, along with the affiliate links to the supplies I use in this video and to create this video so you can take a look and be art twins with me and support my channel. It's a win-win. If you made it this far, be sure to comment and tell me what your favorite food on your Thanksgiving menu is. And if you aren't from America, what's your favorite comfort food? I feel like all of my comfort food is either really cheesy or really chocolatey, but not both, of course. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all had a warm and safe holiday, and I'll see you in next Friday's video.